Hello everyone and welcome. This is the Silent K and today we're going to be playing some Mech HQ. Uh, I'd like to start by uh, making a habit of shouting out new followers. Uh, so we've got Matthew B on YouTube, we've got CalRob6, Abrosheen, and Matlas669 on Twitch. So welcome everybody. Uh, glad to have you with us. Um, we're going to be picking up uh, approximately where we left off last week. Um, just a reminder, we were actually in the middle of this uh, big battle, the convoy attack from last week. Uh, so I'm going to go through the process of loading that up. And actually I wanted to get some input, if uh, you guys don't mind, on how to set up the bot in that one. Because I think when I load the game, the bot will be back in default mode. And... Um, <laughs> with better dice right yeah hopefully um god those fives uh that was that was painful painful um um but yeah uh, about setting up the convoy bots um if i were uh on the other side of that battle i would want the bot set up in a flee for your life kind of posture um and so i was uh considering uh, when I load up the bot, giving it that posture. Um, and I don't know if that's actually what I would, would be preferable to me in this situation, because then I'm going to be chasing down a bot that's trying to run away. Uh, and I've got those stalkers uh, on the enemy force that are not going to be, that are not part of that bot, that are going to be in their standard default setting. Um, so that could be a difficulty if we do go that route if not we'll continue i th think with the settings it had before would have been default it was behaving like the default bot um so yeah just to recap we were salvaging some stuff on some vehicles and doing a couple of refits uh our to and e uh we've got our artillery vehicles on this mission that's a long tom and a thumper uh we do not have the field gunners with us, and we've got Marianas Lance, which is uh, Atlas, Awesome, Archer, Archer. Uh, so this is the battle that we were in the middle of. Um, I don't think I need to go over the rest of these tabs right now. There's not a whole lot going on, so we're just going to load saved game. Whoa. That's weird. Um, okay. Uh, and that was Convoy, ran over time, was where I saved it last time. Uh, okay, so... Um, we are reconnected to the server. Uh, it starts us off in initiative phase. Now, I had tested this once before uh, going live, just to make sure it actually worked. And this is not the same initiative results that I had on that little test run. Um, so we've lost the initiative, um, and apparently it, when you load the game, it loads from the beginning of the turn and then immediately rolls initiative. So I guess that's what we're dealing with here. I don't mind. Uh, I do have a problem with this, so there we go. All right, so all the action is happening down here. Um... Let's see. So we've got, I guess we'll just start here at the south. We've got this uh, assassin who appears to be fleeing. We've got our two archers here and here taking cover. This one looks like he's taking some damage. Can we view him? Uh, where did that go, I wonder? Oh. Uh, See, this is what happens when you mess around with two monitors and you don't have everything set up quite right. Let me just see if it's over here somewhere. Because I was playing on this monitor earlier. Um, and it doesn't look like it is. If I don't find that window... Um, might have to restart uh, okay that would be we've got the mini map 
There should be. There should be a way to pull that window up from the menu. I just don't remember where it is. Oh, it's right there at the top, and that didn't work either. Um, so it looks like I, <laughs> if I had three stalkers, I'd be fleeing. Yeah. Um, let me just double check my second monitor, which is where it was earlier and I think I have indeed messed something up let me uh, yeah all the formatting is wrong like the windows are the wrong size I don't like doing it this way but we are going to try starting from scratch uh, And it still looks like the formatting is being weird. Uh, leave it to Mega Mech to generate maps that in real life would take up my whole living room to use, yeah. Um, Sounds about right. Um, that's, I think, one of the, the best things about doing it on the laptop is, or on the laptop, on the um, PC is that um, you can get these big old maps that um, would be impractical any other way. Okay, see, this time we won initiative, and I swear I was not doing that on purpose. <laughs> um, uh, I hope you guys will not crucify me for that. Um, although it would be all for nothing if I can't view something. Oh dear, it appears to still be gone. And it's not like hiding behind something else, is it? Oh dear. Well guys, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I feel really bad for having technical issues uh, in this way. Um, maybe it's because we're in the indirect fire phase. Let me try. Let's see, the thumper, I think I want you to fire there. And the mobile long tom, I think I want you to fire there. Okay, please. Is it? Ah, this is a travesty. This is a train wreck. I hate this. Um, all right, continuing on this. Okay, so Free Worlds League. Default settings, default behavior, forced withdrawal, auto flee is off. Uh, retreat edge is nearest. Okay, so. Uh, replace player. Uh, the convoy. I'm going to make them less brave. I'm going to bring up their self preservation. I'm going to bring down their aggression and bring up their caution and call that a good compromise. We're going to save changes, sure, okay, uh, okay, so where are the stats for my archer? I'm going to need that sooner rather than later. Yeah, like, I feel like this archer was retreating backwards last time we played for some reason. I can't even look at his armor. So this is, this is game breaking, guys. <laughs> I apologize. I, I do not know how to proceed from here. Um, let's 
see, this atlas was trying to keep his evasion up and still threaten the stalker, right? Uh, that stalker is not very hurt. I do know that this archer was standing still. And this archer, I guess, can come up here and try to punch the heck out of this phoenix hawk. And I'm kind of playing like I don't have a care in the world because, honestly, if I can't... Like, how do I know what I'm firing? That would be the lasers, that would be the LRMs, but I don't... This is a problem, guys. Uh, this is a serious problem. I don't know how to proceed. Um, I mean, the only thing I can think of would be rebooting my computer with both monitors uh, active, but that would obviously cut the stream short uh, in a big way. Um, All right, uh, I don't see as how I've got any choice. I cannot play like this, <laughs> not without knowing like my modifiers and, and all that. I mean, I'm not even positive I'm shooting the right lasers at him. Uh, that would be the left arm laser. That would be the right arm laser. That would be the LRMs. No, that would be the LRMs. So that would be the two torso lasers. And we need, let's see, four, five, six, sevens on him. And ideally maybe less than that to, well, we're probably gonna kick him. Um, Xanthos. Yeah, we'll fire the two torso lasers and the two LRMs at him. So that should be 18 heat plus one for walking. Should be good. And then we can punch or kick the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, let's see, the awesome at the Stalker should be needing, let's see, a Hoser is a 3 4 with specialization. So that's a one. Two, Shit, don't tell me he's actually going to need ones. Ones and threes? Ones and threes? Show me one. Twos and sixes. Oh, because of range. Um, yeah, we can do that. Because uh, that's 38 heat, so you're not going to build up any extra. Uh, let's see, the Atlas. You've got an auto cannon 10. Your elite pilot, right? Murdoch? Yes, so two, uh, three, four for movement. So that should be a four uh, and some sixes with the lasers. Uh, that should be 15 heat so far. Uh, plus three puts us at 18. Uh, did, were you missing? A, I don't know if you were missing a heat sink. LRMs. All right, we're going to call it there. And this archer. Um, uh, this is the Mark II archer with the 12 heat sinks. So uh, let's see, you are. <laughs> Control K. Oh, you need a noise so you can look at chat. Yeah, uh, third mouse button. Third mouse button's not doing anything. Control K. Uh, next weapon, previous weapon, previous unit. Activate chat box. Isometric. Yeah, the problem is that um, 
when I pull up, when I click on unit display, it's supposed to bring up the other window, the one that uh, shows you all of like your weapons and everything. Um, and for some reason, mine's just uh, off screen somewhere <laughs> in in the ether. So fifth from bottom, uh, toggle unit display, mouse button four. Uh, yeah, my mouse only has three buttons. Um, I think. Are you talking about the unit overview? That's uh, this over here on the side. Unit just, I mean. Uh, Contrake, uh, <laughs> Auto Cannon 11. Um, no, what they need is an Auto Cannon 12, something that'll just decap something in one hot, in one hit. That'd be, that'd be perfect. Uh, in the meantime, I guess, I mean, I can keep trying to do this, uh, the way I'm doing it in my head, basically. Um, so Petra should be needing fives at medium range with no other modifiers. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh wait, did you, you didn't take damage, right? Okay. Well, let's see if this works. Try hitting C. Oh, I guess it's... Uh, next time I'm on the map, I will try that. Um, so the Phoenix Hawk hits the archer with two medium lasers and a machine gun, largely to the left arm. The Wolverine hits the archer in the arm and the leg. Uh, and that is all going to the archer mark three. Uh, four SRMs to the center torso and right leg. Uh, militia mech needs tens, hits the archer in the right leg. So that's well over 20 damage that we've taken already. <laughs> brings out record sheets and brings out the rule books. Yep, uh, that's basically what I'm doing, except I'm doing it live from memory. <laughs> uh, so the archer uh, hits the Xanthos with 18 missiles to the right torso, right leg, left torso, and front right leg. Uh, the Xanthos missing on 9s and 11s, uh, Hoser in the awesome, hitting the Stalker to the left torso, left arm and left torso again with PPCs and a large laser to the left arm. That's the full 38 damage, so that Stalker is two points away from an extra modifier on its check at the end of the uh, phase. <laughs> in this stream, Silent plays Battletech like Battleship. Um, yeah. Uh, does a 12 hit? I wish. Um, a Stalker needing 9s on the Archer and missing with everything. The Griffin tagging the Mark III Archer in the chest with a PPC. So he's probably up to 40 at this point. Uh, right click unit and click view and then select unit here. Or Okay, neither one of left or right clicking them here doesn't do anything. I'll try that on the map uh, when we get there. Uh, the Atlas hitting the Stalker in the right arm with an auto cannon, right arm again with a medium laser, left arm with a medium laser, stripping it. Uh, medium laser to the right leg. Stalker at the Archer on 10s and 12s, missing with everything. The Mark II Archer at the Stalker. Nice, I see red. We got the right arm down to one, we got the right leg down to four, we got the head down to four. First consciousness check. Uh, and then another head hit with the spare single point of damage, uh, which was a through armor crit to the life support and sensors. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, sensors hit infers a plus two to all ranged attacks. And then the second sensor hit keeps you from making ranged attacks at all, if I'm remembering the, right, the rules right. So that's a huge help. Uh, and a second consciousness check. And then 12 more missiles, including five to the head which does black him out, and this is number 39. So, um, uh, I wonder if I had started any notes for this one already, but we're gonna go Archer to 39. If we, that ends up being a kill, I just wanna have that on paper now so I don't forget. Um, and finally, two damage to the left leg, we have him with eight. Uh, 
Archer Mark 3 took 40 points of damage, needs a 6, gets a 7. Stalker 39, the one that just went unconscious, falls down, takes 5 to the arm, critting an LRM, and 4 to the right torso rear, and his 4th point of damage. So he's going to need a 10 to wake up. <laughs> you roll much better being blind? Yeah. Um, I mean, these haven't been difficult rolls so far, but yeah, I feel like we're doing pretty well. Um, Okay, so, uh, hitting C, C doesn't do anything, um, right click unit, and then view, and then select another unit, view, and then select, see Phoenix Hawk, um, select, view, Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm getting nothing. Um, is your screen on the other window or hidden behind? No, I've minimized everything. Uh, it's I don't know where it is. Uh, I minimized OBS over here on my second screen. I'm looking at just a blank background right now, uh, even with the task manager out of the way. Um, it's not here anywhere. Uh, that doesn't change anything. I mean, at this point, I kind of feel like we might be able to finish the mission like this. Uh, it might be a bit of a hindrance. It might affect the outcome of the mission. Um, against these stalkers, we've got one of the stalkers is unconscious and might not be waking up, but he's the worst pilot of the three. We've got an elite over here that's still at 99%. Um, we've got, I just saw the third one, where did it go? Was it this one? Anyway, um, I mean, not being able to see what my armor looks like at a glance is, a little worrying to me because I wonder if maybe this guy should be getting out of there. His bar is in the yellow. <laughs> we should scream at the devs. It's not their fault. I'm, I kind of did like a, it was a messed up procedure. I was playing on the smaller monitor earlier because we were using the big monitor as the TV, um, playing the Xbox on it. Um, and then without rebooting the computer or anything, I switched the TV over to the, the computer and made that my primary monitor and like I feel like that's such an edge case that it's not the kind of thing that they need to really worry too much about like I'm not using the software as intended at that point I don't think um, but we are gonna go ahead and try to kick him and we can try to punch him and if I'd been thinking about it I would have torso twisted so we could punch him twice uh, Wolverine misses his six Archer misses his four uh, Phoenix Hawk misses his six, Archer misses his five. See, this is what happens when you talk about how much better I'm rolling. We start missing on fours and fives, and both of them with twos at that. Uh, but we're not the ones who fell down. The Wolverine does. Takes five to the chest and one to the arm. Rolls a three on his, pilot, on his piloting check and an eight on his consciousness check. Uh, Phoenix Hawk stays standing. <laughs> we'll dismantle the code line by line. Um, I mean, that's not the kind of project that I'm <laughs> equipped for. Uh, I don't know how to program anything. I think the last program I wrote was a batch file for DOS, <laughs> if that tells you anything. Um, all right, so heat is all looking pretty good. Two, three, no problem. Um, his stalker is at five, his griffin is at seven, his phoenix hawk is at nine, and his other stalker is at six. So, uh, they're going to be looking at some penalties for that. Uh, we have one initiative again. Things are going well. We're down nine percent. They're down 17 and 31 res percent respectively. Uh, ah yes, uh, indirect attacks. Can we assume this guy is going to move forward? Uh, this is the long tom. Okay, that's the big gun. 
we're gonna fire that there. And the little one, I think we're gonna start trying to target, well, I don't want that to scatter over to the Atlas. Uh, but if we target it here, it's not going to scatter at all, and it has a one hex range. So maybe we target it. Uh, I'm not sure how far it can technically scatter. So how about I target it there, and hopefully it scatters into one of these guys. Works for y'all? Works for me. And that will happen in turn after this one. Uh, so this is uh, Archer Mark Three. Uh, your health is in the yellow, and we were trying to keep you from getting overwhelmed with all of these guys. Um, so yeah, we will back you up a little bit, maybe try to tempt that Phoenix Hawk into separating from the herd. Um, Atlas. I really want our Atlas to be engaging the Stalker. Uh, we do have LRMs on this thing, right? I think Atlas has an LRM 20. Um, that gives us short, medium, so that's going to be a long range, but we can, we can make that shot, maybe. We've got an elite pilot. Elite pilots are pretty good. Uh, Hoser, I think, is gonna... The CT has taken a beating. Okay, well, I'm glad someone's more aware of what's going on on the battlefield than I am. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to get him out of the line of fire, trying to keep him moderately evasive and not get swarmed. Um, to that end, let's see, this would be Petra. Petra's a veteran pilot? Yeah, 3-4. So this should be... A not too difficult piloting check. Fire some lasers at this Wolverine and get in some punches, maybe. On a three, yeah, we can handle a three. Uh, Stinger flees, Assassin flees, cool. Uh, Wolverine succeeds in getting up. Wolverine succeeds in running on pavement. Uh, Thumper has turned two hexes into rough. Mobile Long Tom turned one hex into rough. All right, so the Mark III Archer. This is the one with all the heat sinks. Uh, we've got arm lasers, and we've got LRMs, and we've got torso lasers. Um, I'm thinking torso lasers at the Phoenix Hawk. Save our arms for punching, so that's six. And then LRMs at the Xanthos, which has already been crippled. Uh, so that should be, I want to say, okay, so that's four, five, six for medium range, seven for walking, should be sevens, and that should be 19 heat, so we should be good there. Uh, you are not shooting at the same stalker, you are... Maybe at the Griffin. Uh, you walked for mod of one. You ran for mod of one. I don't think you have any weapons. Uh, it's within minimum range and it's through the woods. So that's plus two for that, plus three for walking. So that's six sevens. Uh, that would be sevens and sixes with the lasers. So we'll go ten. 18, 2, 3, well, that should be 30, we can go two PPCs, uh, we can do that. So we're going to go PPC, PPC, laser, mediums, and that should be two points of heat. Um, Atlas, you are also not still shooting at that stalker. Uh, so extreme range is going to be two, four, six. So that would be eight. Uh, nine for my movement. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so we're going to do three points of heat for that, holding off on medium lasers. And the LRM-20 should be six sevens. Okay, so that should be nine points of heat, ten for walking. And then, okay, these are SRMs. Uh, we can do one, two, three. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think we just one, two, three. I want to go four medium lasers. I think we can handle. Um. Okay. And this is the Mark II Archer. We're gonna go. Do we keep the arms free? We have. Four lasers and twelve heat sinks. We ran. Um, let's see. I think we can do three lasers. So that should be all right. One, two. Okay, we've got two lasers. Oh, that's right. We sacrificed two lasers. Um, Okay, we won't be able to punch or anything. On the roll with it. All right. Uh, Phoenix Hawk at the Archer misses with both medium lasers, hits us in the head with a machine gun. Frederick French takes a point of damage, needs to make a consciousness check. And a machine gun at the left arm going in uh, through armor crit for no effect. Um. Let's see, enemy Wolverine at the Archer hits the left arm. We're down to three armor there, three SRMs to the right torso, right torso, and right leg, down to five armor there. Uh, Archer at the Phoenix Hawk with two medium lasers to the center torso and left torso, respectively. 12 LRMs, 32 LRMs on the Xanthos, critting out his front left hip and upper leg. Uh, center torso down to one. Left torso down to five, front right leg down to seven, CT going internal on the gyro and the engine twice. Very nice. Those LRMs were worth it. And then five to the rear left leg. Uh, awesome at the Griffin, needing fives, hits with uh, PVC and a large laser to the right torso, leaving him with two armor. Uh, medium lasers to the right arm, left torso, and head. And left torso again, down to five armor there. <laughs> you missed a five. I missed it. Um, wait. Yeah, no, there it is. Uh, yep, missed a five with snake eyes. There it is, plain as day. Archer's having a good day. Yeah, the, those LRMs on the Xanthos did some good work. Um, where were we? The Xanthos shooting at the Archer, missing 7s and 11s. The Griffin at the Atlas hits the left arm with a PPC, costing us one of our edge points. And the Atlas at the Stalker, needing 10s and 8s, uh, hits center torso, left leg, right torso. Not going to be a piloting check. Probably wouldn't be a big deal if it was, because it would only be a 4 with an elite pilot. And then at the unconscious Stalker, we've got two. Three to the center, four to the center torso rear, uh, rolling two crits, but only a four and a six. Uh, Stalker at the Alice on nines and sevens, misses with sixes and fours. Uh, LRM APC firing machine guns at the Archer, missing on tens. Uh, Petra and the Mark II Archer hitting the Phoenix Hawk in the center torso with another medium laser, down to three armor there. Uh, Xanthos. Uh, Four piloting skill checks for the hip actuator hit, the leg actuator hit, the gyro hit, and the 20 plus damage. Uh, the first roll, six minus two for quad, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six for damaged components. Needs a 12 rolls and 11. Well, he sure tried, didn't he? Takes 10 to the front right leg and the left torso, fails to avoid damage. 
And then the griffin, also needing a six, rolls a four, takes six to the left and right torso, leaving him with zero and one armor there. Uh, rolls a seven on his uh, piloting check to avoid damage, so he's good for that. Now we can punch the phoenix hawk on sixes, and we can kick the wolverine on an eight. Oof. Two, three, four for running, five for cover, six, seven for cover, eight for movement. Now, um, I don't normally like kicking on an eight, um, but with a veteran pilot, I think the risk is significantly lower, so I'm going to do it. Uh, Wolverine kicks and misses on a five. Archer punches the Phoenix Hawk in the left torso twice, blowing off his left arm. Excuse me, but not quite hitting the center torso, which, uh, if I recall, was exposed. Uh, Phoenix Hawk kicking the Ar uh, Mark III Archer in the foot. So that kind of sucks. And the Mark II Archer kicking the Wolverine in the leg, leaving him with two armor. Uh, Archer makes two rolls, a five and a four. Oh, gets a bonus on the one for getting kicked, but not for the leg actuator. So a five and a four, makes them both with sixes. Wolverine needs a pair of fives, gets a nine and a seven. Uh, awesome is at five heat. I guess I calculated that wrong. Um, so we need to lay off a little bit on him. Uh, we've got the Griffin and the Stalker at six, and the Phoenix Hawk at seven. So that's cool. Uh, Stalker thirty nine needs a ten to wake up. Rolls an eight. Uh, we've won the initiative again. Cool. Uh, the convoy is still at eighty percent, and the enemy is at sixty percent. Um, let's see. Their combined BV is. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 11,500, so they're still a thousand points above us in total. Um, let's see, indirect attacks. Let's. Well, this one, Xanthos is prone. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and fire the long tom there so I can maybe try to catch both of them in it if they can stay there. And then. Thumper uh, can maybe start tearing up right here. Yeah, I don't think I'm using those woods. <laughs> uh, and that will be next turn. Uh, okay. Archer with the damaged CT, and now the foot crit. You're backing up as best you can. Uh, overheating awesome with two movement points. Uh, do we want to move you out of the heavy woods? I honestly don't feel like it's worth it. Um, yeah, we're just going to stand still. It's not worth the heat or the targeting penalties. Because Lord knows if you can't hit on a 5, you're not going to hit on a 6. Sorry, I had to go there. <laughs> um... Atlas is going to start coming after this elite stalker. I feel like I've got an edge up there. We've got more armor. Technically, I think we have more guns. Not more number, but like more mass. Um, he's got the better heat sinking capability, though. And we've got Petra and the Mark II Archer, who can't quite get into melee range for anything. But we can, well, hold on. If we go torso twist left, one, two, three, so we'd be at short range and we'd be in the back of this Wolverine. And I wish, <laughs> I wish I could see how much back armor he had. But I guess that's um, double blind rules. Xanthos ejects. So that's cool. Uh, Long Tom hits the stalker for five to the leg, leaving him with 15. Thumper misses and scatters and does nothing. Um, 
awesome being set upon by the griffin, apparently. Uh, so that's going to be three. Didn't move. Four for your movement. Five, six, seven for minimum range. So we're going to do 10, 20, 28. Um, so we should be able to do also two medium lasers, get our heat into check, under check. What? You know what I'm trying to say. That's a hundred ton quad up for grabs. Yeah, but um, if I'm not mistaken, it is a, um, that was the, the 20 variant, which is primitive. So uh, if we do want to refit that, that's going to be... <laughs> That's going to be an investment. Um, so let's see, this is the Mark III Archer. You have torso lasers, which we're going to use so that you can punch. Uh, so we're skipping the arm lasers, fire, fire. That's six. And then what do we need there? Easiest just to check after the fact, I guess. Uh, on tens, I mean, I don't think it was going to get any easier. Yeah, we'll take the tens. Uh, Alice at the stalker. That's going to be two, four, six. Um, barely moved. Uh, seven, eight for running. So that's an eight with that. Not in range with the mediums or the SRMs yet, and the LRM is in range, and that would be all right. Uh, so that was again, that was nine heat, ten eleven for movement. Uh, so we should be able to do one, two, three medium lasers. That puts us at twenty. Should be what we can handle, right? Uh, and then the Mark II Archer, actually, um, let's see, you ran, so that's going to be fives, uh, six, seven for the Wolverine, or six for the APs, all right, I thought they were in the same hex for a, a second, all right, so we're going to do one medium laser there, and one LRM twenty oh bugger. Um all right, we'll do I guess two medium lasers there. And yeah, I think that's about well hold on. That's three, four, five for running, six for movement. Seven, eight, nine for minimum range. Yeah, we can take one of those. Uh, let's see. Hoser missing on fives again. <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh, but does hit in the back with the other PTC, critting out two of the jump jets. Large laser to the arm and a medium laser on the cargo mech. Doing a little bit of work there. Long ways to go with 22 armor left. At least it's not shooting back. <laughs> Hashtag rigged. Um, I mean, I've I've read enough of the content behind this game to believe that the numbers actually are random, but um, I take it on faith, and uh, that's not something I can. That's not a decision I can make for someone else. So, <laughs> um, you can believe what you want to believe, I guess. Uh, Wolverine on the archer, needs a six, gets a six, uh, tags me in the left leg, uh, and by me, that, um, I believe that's Wyvern in that archer mark three, uh, missing with the autocannon and the SRM. Uh, mark three archer at the Wolverine, hits the head with a medium laser, second head hit, eight, oh yeah, eight. Was he the one that took one point of damage? I thought that was <laughs> that archer headhunting today. Uh, yeah, uh, both of the archers, I feel like, are doing really good work with uh, those lasers and LRMs. 
Um, so the Wolverine is unconscious, but he's only taken five damage so far. So unless we can force a PSR with 20 points of damage, he's not going to fall up, fall down automatically. Uh, the LRM APC shooting at the archer hits the right torso rear for two with a machine gun, leaving us with four armor there. Uh, Atlas on the stalker hits with uh, 12 LRMs to the right arm, right torso, left arm. And then three medium lasers to the other stalker to the right torso, center torso, and right arm. Critting out... Was that LRM 10 already critted? Or was that a different one? And the shoulder. Uh, so even if he does wake up, that shoulder is going to impede... That's what... The large lasers, I think, are in the torso, but the LRMs, the SRMs, and the mediums are in the arms, if I recall. <laughs> uh, Griffin missing on an 8, Lumberjack missing on a 10. Uh, Stalker returning fire on the Atlas, tagging in with two large lasers to the center torso and right arm, and with 14 LRMs to the left torso, center torso, left arm, right arm. Left arm is down to less than 20 armor left. Um, Mark II Archer needing sevens and nines misses with everything. Atlas needs a four to stay standing, gets a nine. So we're good there. Uh, oh, we can't even kick him to knock him down. We're resorting to punches. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever made a physical attack at a standing immobile mech. Uh, so I've got the minus four target immobile modifier, but not the minus two target adjacent and prone modifier. Um, but yeah, those are both going to hit, and there's a one in six chance that either one is going to hit the head. And since he's already taken five points of damage to the head, that would kill him. So yeah, we're going to take those guaranteed hits. And then we are going to punch the griffin. And I fired the wrong PPCs, because we should be punching him twice. But that's still a damage to the rear. I'm not gonna... Left torso, right torso. Not what I was hoping for. And a punch to the left arm going internal, but no crit. Um, Alright. Awesome is at one heat. Cool. Archer is at... That's the Mark II Archer is at two heat. Uh, convoy is all cold. Griffin is at seven. Stalker is at seven. Okay, so they're going to have to slow down or they're going to start taking penalties. Uh, needs a 10 to wake up, only gets an 8. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what that was. Uh, heavy smoke overpowers light smoke in 3 hexes, so that's going to be even better cover than it was. We have won the initiative. We're down 12 and a quarter percent. They're down 30 percent ish. Uh, and 34, or 44, respectively. Uh, indirect attacks. So that's going to be a long time here, where it can hit that stalker, if nothing else, and maybe this power man or the cross cut if they get too close. And... Let's see, you moved one hex last time. We'll just go ahead and shoot directly at you. See how that does you. All right, Mark Three Archer, the one with no center torso armor and a busted foot. We can. We could make a run for it. We'd be exposing our back, but that might not be. Well, this guy's immobile. And this guy. might be retreating um maybe we hold off on that um are you seriously trying <laughs> uh so we've got a long time landing here this turn and another one next turn so we don't want to be within two hexes of that um that gives us oh well, uh there's a tool for that uh, yeah, both of those light woods hexes. That was control, by the way, that I was using for that. Uh, whereas alt, if you hold that, will tell you a different pop-up. It tells you other information. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, both of those woods are going to be in the way. Plus running. But that's medium range if he doesn't back up, which he might. Um... Uh, Harvester Agramac, you have 73 armor. Um, maybe we can do something like that. Uh, you're immobile. Do we capitalize on that, maybe? Yeah, I think we're going to capitalize on that. Uh, the Mark II is in better shape right now. The Mark III needs to be getting out of there. APC has only been using machine guns, so he's not a huge threat. Um, but if the center torso is open, then anything that hits there is potentially going to crit. So we do want to maybe get him some cover. You moved two hexes. That's worth coming out of cover for. Uh, I'd like to punch you some more. Um, alternately, maybe we could get our PPCs in on one of these guys, depending on what survives the incoming fire over here. Yeah, that's a long term. A long time this turn is going to hit both of these guys, so that's nice. Uh, on the other hand, if we just stay where we are, we're in heavy woods. We can torso twist and hit you with everything. Minimum range is less of an issue. Well, everything except the medium lasers. So maybe, yeah, we're going to bring out some medium lasers. Phoenix Hawk has fled. Good news. All right. Long Tom hits the power man for 15 to the right arm, left leg, left arm, leaving him with zero, two, and zero armor. Uh, Crosscut takes 15 to the right leg, going internal and critting the upper leg. Right torso, right leg again, leaving it with one structure, and the right arm, leaving it with five structure. Uh, Thumper does basically nothing. Crosscut needs a piloting skill check, needs a six, gets a seven. All right, Mark Three Archer does not have LOS to him. He's not a threat right now. So... We will medium range, so that should be five, six, seven for your movement, eight for mine. Uh, so that's 12 heat. Uh, 12, 15, 18, 19 for walking. Yeah. We'll do one more and call that good. Uh, awesome. Needs three, four for walking, five, six for minimum range. So that's going to be 10, 20, no, 10, 18, 18, no. 18 and 12 from the medium lasers would be 30. We can handle 38 plus one for walking. Uh, yeah, we can throw we can throw in two PPCs. We've done it before. Uh, so 28, 31, 34, 37 plus one for walking, 38, so that should be heat neutral. Uh, and we'll see how that does. Why do you keep targeting someone that's unconscious? I want you shooting this guy. Uh, so let's see, we ran, so that's two, three, four, five, six for medium range. Didn't move. Seven, eight for the woods. So that's, ooh. We could start busting out medium lasers on him. Uh, oh, bother. I've lost count. So that's 
911 heat built up so far. Uh, does it? Ah, I need to still fire the. Um, let's see what that does. That should be 13. Okay, so we're not firing. I guess that was the SRM. Um, I guess we can take on a couple of secondary targets, uh, like this crosscut with this laser. Actually, you know what? Nope. Uh, he's off the line. I was hoping I could keep my torso twisted straight and get a punch in on this cargo mech, but I guess we're just going to have to do what we were doing. So that was the auto cannon, the LRMs at him, uh, medium laser at you, a medium laser at you. That should be 15, 17 heat so far. Uh, but we can't really hit anyone else with anything. So I guess we're taking a cooldown turn. If I can, thank you. Uh, you're taking LRMs from the stalker, it looks like. On sixes, good gracious. Uh, that does look like it's coming in on the left side, though, not the back, so that's fortunate. Um, we're just going to go one, two, so that's six, plus an LRM is 12, so that's going to be a little bit of heat. Zeros and sixes, yeah, we'll take that shot. <laughs> Time to Mega Mac. Uh, yeah, uh, been mega mecking for a little while you just get here <laughs> all right so the archer at the harvester on nines misses at the wolverine hits the sitter torso with three medium lasers stripping it from 15 to zero armor very nice and neat uh power man two medium lasers and a machine gun at the atlas all on sevens and elevens misses everything uh hoser uh fours apparently is is the breaking point for, for Hoser. Yeah, just got in to see lots of hits. Um, yeah, um, just so you know that uh, we're taking a little bit more time with this battle because uh, I guess a quirk of the dual monitor setup that I was using and modified today, uh, I, I don't have the little window that tells me the stats, so I have to calculate everything in my head. Uh, Started a career mode in MechWarrior 5, ended up trading in my starting lance to roll in a single Zeus. Nice. Uh, I don't know what the starting lance is, but a Zeus, that's 80 tons or 85? Um, either way, it's an assault mech. So, yeah. And I'm guessing that was probably, your starting lance is two commandos and a locust, so that's 70 tons worth of, of mechs. So you definitely trade it up. Nice job. All right, Hoser in the awesome, on fours. <laughs> it's the center torso, leaving 10 armor, left torso destroyed, one transfers to the center torso. Uh, eight more to the center torso, leaving it with one medium laser into the center torso, engine, jump jet, right arm, PPC. And the center torso is down to nine. So that was very nice. That's 20... 28, good lord, that's, what, 37 down? No, 28 plus 15 is 43. I was adding the heat, not the damage. Very nicely done. So that guy is most likely going down at the end of the round. Um, engine hit, PPC, left arm blown off, jeez. He's a wreck. He's probably going into forced retreat. Um... Heroes of the Inner Sphere, I need to get some time to play that. Then the starter lance, one commando, one locust, one jenner. If you traded two commandos and a locust, what happened to your jenner? I would have kept it. <laughs> uh, rolling solo is still scary, though. An assault alone can get cut up by lights. It can, yeah. Uh, I've seen it happen multiple times in tabletop, at least. 
Tore that griffin up. I need to walk the dog, but I had to see what I did before I left. Yeah. Uh, he is... I mean, if he falls down and hits that center torso, he's down to four points. He's he's in bad, bad shape. <laughs> you did some good work there. Uh, Griffin nailing the atlas uh, with the last shot from his PBC to the right arm. Uh, atlas on the stalker hits with the auto cannon 10, but not the LRM. Uh, that's 10 to the right arm, leaving him with eight. Two medium lasers at the crosscut and the cargo mech on sixes and fives miss both of them. Uh, I was working on a friend to get him playing. Um, story mode and career mode are separate runs. Um, interesting. Um, I guess it's just a terminology thing. Uh, so the Stalker at the Archer misses with the large laser, but does hit with 11 LRMs to the center torso, left arm, left torso. We're holding strong there. Yeah, the Mark II is in better shape. The Rank walking his dog. All right. Um, see you when you get back. Uh, it is 7 o'clock, so hopefully walking the dog takes less than an hour and we get to say goodbye to you before the end of the stream. Uh, I'm only familiar with base... In MechWarrior 5, that's an MS Game Pass. Basically, okay, career mode is about making mad stacks of F of C bills. Um, yeah, so sounds like career mode is kind of more freeform, kind of like how I've been playing uh, Mech HQ, where you're just running a Merc company and and uh, trying to make a profit. Uh, Lumberjack misses the Atlas. Uh, Mark II Archer at the Wolverine hits the left arm in the center torso rear with medium lasers. 20 LRMs to the right arm, left torso rear, center torso rear, center torso rear going internal, but no crits. Um, okay, so the Griffin actually does stay standing, uh, even after taking that withering fire from the uh from the awesome uh you gotten your war crime quota in yet uh we're avoiding war crimes uh we've only been shelling forests this time um <laughs> wolverine goes down does crit his engine so that's cool uh and takes a unavoidable point of damage so he's gonna need a seven to wake up and we kick him while he's down because that's not a war crime Kicked him in the leg, leaving him with one structure. Uh, two heat, one heat. Uh, Archer's at, the Mark II is at three heat. Griffin is at 11. Uh, Wolverine went down. Um, I think that's the five heat he gained from that engine hit he just took. Uh, Stalker. Is this? Okay, this must be the elite pilot because he gained... Fired a large laser, two LRM tens, so that's sixteen heat minus four. Yeah, okay, so that's this one. Um, needs a ten to wake up, needs a seven to wake up. Rolls a five and rolls a three, so cool. Uh, we're continuing our initiative winning streak. That plus two bonus, doing some good work there, because that would have been a roll off if we didn't have that. They're down to two-thirds of the convoy and 43% of their main forces remaining. Uh, indirect attacks. Yeah, I think we want to keep shelling here with the long tom. And I, I know he's not going to stay there and just take it. Um, yeah, let's keep trying to nail this guy with the, the thumper. Okay, yeah, I did fire it. Um, Stalker is crippled and withdrawn. Oh, wait, 39. 39 is... Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Um, all right. If we were... Let's see. 10 hexes, so that would still be medium range for the autocannon. Still be medium range for the LRMs. Would be long range for the medium lasers. Um, but I think this would be less evasive. 
And I think, yeah, it would be just as difficult a shot. Or no, it would be easier by two with the medium lasers, but harder by one with the autocannon and the missiles. Uh, less evasive, because we're moving four hexes instead of five, but there's woods in the way, so it should pan out evenly. Uh, I'm going to try to maximize those medium lasers. Um, Hoser, I think, wants to finish off this griffin, so I'll try to wait until after he moves. Um, Mark three archer is, not going to lie, basically in complete uh, retreat mode. I wish I, it's not the Phoenix Hawk. Who is that? I wish I could remember. Uh, oh, it's the APC, the one with just machine guns. So that wasn't a bad move. Um, let's see, this archer, Harvester, is probably not much of a threat. Diglord's not much of a threat. Cargo mech is a hundred tonner, right? Yeah. Heavily armored, but not very well armed. Oh, you moved. You got out from under my shells. And looks like, let me just check this real quick. LOS is blocked by woods. He is running from my Atlas. Uh, okay, good to know. Uh, that puts us at seven hexes from him. I think I want to. Uh, I'm willing to go six so that I can still get a kick in on this Wolverine. Uh, okay, Griffin moved to there. We could. Two for movement, and we're giving up a point of cover. But we'd be directly in his back. We could punch him and or kick him. Yeah, I want to finish off that griffin. Uh, Stalker needs a two rolls of six. All right, Long Tom hits the Lumberjack for 15 to the center torso, right torso, and head, forcing his first piloting check. Five to the Stalker to the left arm, taking out a medium laser, and five to the cross cut to the left torso. Uh, Thumper hits the Stalker for five to the left leg. That's the Elite Stalker that just took five. Uh, all right, so Archer Mark three on the heat sinks. That's gonna be four, five for walking, six, seven for the heavy woods. Um, but I think that's just about the only target we've got right now. So I'll take it. That's one. No. Okay. We'll do it that way. One, two, three, four. Uh, it does mean that we can't shoot the LRMs at literally anything. So I guess that's the price we pay. All right. So the awesome, who is at one heat for walking. Uh, so we've got. 37 available, so we want to not fire the arm PPC. We can go 11, 21, 29, 32, 35, 38. We'll go 41. Fuck it, we'll go 42. <laughs> uh, we can build up four heat to really try to nail that Griffin, and we've saved our arm for punching if need be. Atlas has a target with the power man. All right, well, you're getting an auto cannon to the face. And one, two, three, four, five medium lasers. So that's, let's see, we ran. So that's two how many medium lasers was that 
Okay, so that's 18 points of heat, that's 20. I think that's about our max with this guy. Six weapons at three heat eat, plus two for running, yeah. Um, we're not going to be able to punch or kick that, which kind of stinks. Um, mark two archer is at three heat, because we spent a turn cooling down. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to hold off on the lasers. We're just going to fire the LRMs, and those need, let me check, shouldn't be too bad, sixes. Yeah, that's outstanding. All right, so the Mark III Archer at the APC hits it in the front, and the LRM5 malfunctions hits it in the front again, leaving it with six armor. Uh, Power Man hits the Alice in the left leg with a medium laser, bringing us down from 41 points of armor to 36. I think we'll be all right. Uh, Hoser, needing sevens and sixes, misses with his first four shots, uh, but does land the other three medium lasers and the small. So that's the right arm, left leg, right arm destroyed into the right torso rear, but not through the armor there. And the small laser to the leg. So that's actually only 18 points of damage. Uh, we're not gonna be able to kick. We will be punching with both arms though. So maybe we can get into that right torso rear then. <clears throat> Uh, Atlas at the Power Man misses with the auto cannon, hits with four medium lasers. Looks like to start with, yeah, it looks like all five. Uh, see, that's the kind of rolling that we need. Uh, it's right torso down to three, center torso, left torso down to three, left leg internal and blown off with a crit, and five to the right leg, leaving it with two there. So the Power Man is going down. And being that it's a primitive mech, I think, it should be making like a bunch of extra rolls at the end of the turn. Uh, APC shooting at the archer with a machine gun, two to the arm, leaving us with three armor there. Lumberjack misses the atlas on a 10. Stalker on the awesome. Uh, hits with an LRM 10 for six missiles to the right arm and left torso. And the Mark II Archer hits the Harvester mech with 16 LRMs to the right torso, left leg critting the foot, and the right arm and the right arm down to two. Uh, Harvester. Uh, okay, yeah. Needs a seven, falls on the right arm, damaging his upper arm and his arresting hoist. Um, needs a seven to avoid damaging the pilot and succeeds. Um, internal combustion engine mech fails a PSR, does not stall on a six. Uh, the power man, also making two rolls, goes down automatically because of his destroyed leg, damages his right arm, crits out his hand, needs a 12 to avoid damage, and a three to stay conscious. Uh, also does not stall the mech on a four. Uh, yep, we planned this, six and an eight. And we planned this on negative three. Awesome, punches the griffin in the head. Way to go, hoser. Um, so makes a, uh, auto ejects because of skin of the teeth ejection. Uh, needs an 11, rolls a two, takes five points of damage and dies. Uh, second punch misses. <laughs> Uh, Archer kicks the Wolverine in the right leg, leaving him with 10 structure remaining. Alright, so. Uh, Stalker needs a 10 to wake up, Wolverine needs a 7 to wake up, neither one makes it. Harvester mech uh, took falling damage, crits his engine, resulting in cascading engine failure, destroyed by engine explosion. Uh, that was the... That was Murdoch that was shooting the Power Man, right? Uh, let me make a note of that real quick. A S seven, and that was number thirty three. So that's uh, cool. Two of the convoy mechs destroyed one turn, 
uh, and the griffin. So that is outstanding. We rolled a natural 12 for initiative uh, versus their natural 11. So they, they put up a fight. They're down to 56% and 37. Uh, indirect attacks. We are again putting the big gun here. And I mean, we might as well just keep walking towards them, right? Landing next turn, as always. Uh, Archer backing up into heavy woods. And next turn we'll have us back to the edge of the map. Uh, awesome. Uh, you ran for a mod of one. I could turn the lasers on you if I turn to face you. Or I could just hit you with a bunch of PPCs. Um, let's go ahead and do that because maybe in a couple of turns we'll be taking a shot at something else in that direction. Locked two for a mod of one. That would put us at three hexes. I mean, I kind of want the cover, but... I need to take the stalker down. Or, you know, honestly, I don't. If I can just keep him to, if I can just keep him off of the rest of these forces, I might be able to just kill all these purple mechs over here without actually engaging him too hard, maybe. Um, Dig Lord. Something tells me I don't want to get into a melee fight with you. So maybe, yeah, we'll do that. It puts you at a range of six. That's not a great range for the LRMs, but it's not bad. It's not bad for the Blazers either. Um, let's see, the Lumberjack is, and the Crosscut are probably the awesomest nest targets. Uh, Archer engaging the Dig Lord. I mean, if I can get this atlas to just, where can we go? We can't see him. <laughs> um, yeah, well, he's probably going to shoot at the awesome again, but um, I think I'm okay with that. It keeps his uh, medium lasers and SRMs out of the fight, at least. Uh, APC has fled the field, so I guess we don't get the kill on that one. Uh, Long Tom hits the Stalker for five to the left torso and turns more woods into rough. Thumper scatters and does nothing. All right, Mark three Archer. So that's going to be four, seven... 10, 16, 22, and done. Uh, let's go ahead and get the other archer done too. So that's going to be uh, 3, 6, no, I think I want to, the alarms are going to have a better chance to hit at 6 hexes being that they're only taking a penalty of one for the minimum range versus the penalty of two for medium range. Uh, yeah, thought this would happen. That's sixes and eights, which is not great. That's long range, so that's uh, sevens, not evasive. Uh, I did walk this turn, so that's eights. Uh, minus two for specialization, so that's sixes. You know, I think we might actually come out uh, ahead on that exchange. Uh, so that's 30. We can also one, two, 
three should be okay. Yeah, let's try to take that crosscut down before too long. What are you shooting at me? I thought you didn't have any guns. SRMs on eights. I know how to deal with that. Oh, it's called auto cannon. So that's three. Now we did run. So that's five, eight, 11, 14, 17, 20. Um, I mean, we're not running hot. I for, do I have more than 20 heat sinks on this thing? I forget. Um, we don't need the LRMs, but I think we've got some SRMs that we can throw in there. Bring that up to 24 on sixes and fours. Yeah, we're going to annihilate that thing. Well, it's got 200 armor, so maybe not, but any day now. Thank you. All right, Archer at the Dig Lord on 11s and 9s. Hits with 12 LRMs at least. Uh, left torso, left arm, center torso down to 9, 6, and 9. Uh, Militia Mech at the Atlas hitting with 3 SRMs to the right leg, left arm, center torso. Uh, Archer Mark 2 at the Dig Lord hits with 9 missiles to the center torso and the head. Uh, Stalker at the Awesome missed both of the large lasers and hits with 14 LRMs to the right arm, left torso, right leg. Awesome at the Stalker on sixes, hits with everything, crits the center torso to no effect, crits the right leg to no effect, 10 more to the center torso leaves him with 11. Might end up taking him down after all. And then two medium lasers at the cross cut to the left torso, destroyed, left arm blown off, transfers to the center torso, crits the gyro. Left arm follows the same path and results in a cascading engine explosion. Bravo. Bravo, I say. Getting all the kills in, in this awesome, this uh, last couple turns. Uh, Lumberjack on the awesome needs an 11, doesn't get it. Atlas at the Militia Mech hits the center torso, critting the gyro and the engine. Didn't get a through armor crit, just got a crit without penetrating the armor. Um, almost causes a cascading engine explosion, needs a 10, gets a 9. Uh, medium laser to the rear left leg, medium laser to the rear right leg, front right leg, left torso, rear right leg. God, this thing does have a ton of armor. And then four SRMs to the CT, LT, RRL, and CT again. Um, Militia Mech with the gyro hit and 40 plus damage needs a 9. And uh, probably going to need a 7 to stand back up in a quad. That's, that's not bad. I mean, it's, it's not bad that I was able to give him that much of a penalty with the gyro hit. Nice. Uh, Andy crits his lower left leg, so that's going to be an 8 then to stand after that. Takes his point of damage, stays conscious. The Dig Lord needs a 6, gets an 8. Stalker needs a 4, rolls a 2. Oh, that's lovely. Takes 5 to the leg and 4 to the arm, and rolls a 3 to avoid damage. Uh, does get a 12 on his consciousness check, though, so he's still plenty conscious. Uh, but that was... Oh, that was an outstanding round, Hoser. I just want you to know that. You killed one mech and knocked down another. Uh, kicking on a negative three. 14 to the right torso leaves him with two. Uh, oh. Did I miscalculate? Are we at eight heat now? That's a penalty. Uh, yeah, so I wish I'd maybe fired one less laser or something. I'm going to have to... Gonna have to bear that in mind for next turn. Um, Atlas is at four heat, so also gonna have to take a cooldown turn. Archer is at five heat. Yeah, I've been pushing it too hard. I mean, considering I'm doing it blind, I think I'm doing pretty well. But um, we still need to cool it down on like everyone. <laughs> uh, Militia Mech is at four heat because he's only sinking two per turn. Good lord. Primitive mechs suck. Uh, Stalker's at zero. Wolverine's at zero. Stalker is at three. 
Oh, Stalker39 finally woke up. Um, it's time to start paying attention to him again. Uh, and I have to question whether it was worth it for Hoser to take those shots on the Elite Stalker and knocking him over. Or if it would have been better served getting guaranteed hits on the one that was unconscious and wrecking his mech before he could wake back up. I wasn't expecting him to wake back up this this soon. I, but 10 is slimmer odds than it sounds like. Um, let's see. Wolverine needs a 7 to wake up but does not. Militia mech. Uh, Fell gets an ineffective crit on the front left leg. We've got two fires now. Heavy smoke, light smoke everywhere uh, we're still on our initiative streak which is nice um, so indirect attacks these are getting you've got how much armor left not much it looks like um, Huh. Who's a good target? I mean, yeah, we can go ahead and fire some shots there and see how they scatter. Hopefully they do have some kind of effect. Um, honestly, the artillery has been doing pretty good this whole match. All right, Mark III Archer will be retreating next round. Oh, you fell down and hurt yourself again. Five hits. Uh, so you're going to need an 11 to wake up. That's not going to happen. Six hexes is a perfect range for me. Uh, Archer is going to be firing on the Diglord, I assume. Yeah. Um, just, well, you know what? We, well, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take a one point targeting penalty this turn to face that way so that next turn we're not trying to take a two point penalty trying to run into there. So um, splitting it across two turns to reduce the, the worst of it. Um, I have not moved yet. I kind of want to wait for you to do that. Uh, eight hexes. I'd like to be a little closer to you than that. Uh, one Light Woods is in, is uh, intervening. I guess this one. Which appears to not have any smoke. So it's only going to be a penalty of one. Plus two for range. Um, yeah, we'll just lob smell our arms at you. Stay cool. You walked for, for two movement points uh, must have gotten up on his first try is there anywhere that does not have LOS to the stalker oh, wrong button that's why it's going weird um, Can't do that. Um, we'll be able to torso twist and still put everything to bear on the militia mech, which is down to 166 armor. We'd be out of line of sight of the stalker. Yeah, we can do that for now on a two, no problem. Yep, uh, stalker tries to get up, needs a seven because of minimal arms, falls. Takes five to the center torso rear and four to the left torso rear. Needs a seven to avoid damage, gets a five. Needs an 11 to stay conscious, gets an eight. Uh, Elite Stalker needs a five, gets a seven. Atlas needs a two, gets a 10. Sure. Uh, Long Tom hits Stalker 39, which was the. Uh, Forty-five was the elite one, right? Right. Uh, so that is a kill for the long tom on the stalker. Nice. Uh, ejected. Oh, destroyed by 
pilot death because he already had five points of damage and there was an ammo explosion which deals two more damage. So he was dead before the auto eject even kicked in. Uh, sucks to be him. Thumper, again, ineffective. Archer has LOS on no one, which is fine with me. Uh, your target is gone. Um, let's go ahead and see what we've got on this dig lord here. Um, we did walk this turn. We were already at five heat. So we'll do one laser and one LRM. So that's nine heat plus one for walking is 10. So we'll cooling off two points this turn. Uh, and that should be, what did I say it was going to be? Like eights, sixes, and eights. All right, yeah. That's cool. Uh, awesome taking fire from the stalker, which, I mean, if you're going to do that, did you, were you evasive at all this turn? You were not. You moved one hex. You need sixes and tens. Uh, I will go... One, two, three, and we were at plus eight heat. So we need fives, <laughs> Hoser's favorite number. Uh, but that 30 plus one plus the eight that we had, so we should end the turn with one point of heat. This is acceptable. Atlas came over here to destroy this militia mech. So that is three, Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. We were at four heat plus we ran, so that should leave us with the four heat that we started the turn with. All right, Archer at the Dig Lord hits it in the left leg with a medium laser, but misses the LRMs. Uh, Stalker at the Awesome needs tens and sixes and misses with all of it. Uh, awesome on the stalker, hits him in the right arm and the left torso, and missed on a five. Uh, 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 Lumberjack on the awesome needs an 11, Atlas on the militia mech hits the left torso twice, uh, for f a total of 15, going internal but not critting. Right torso for five, front right leg, rear right leg front right leg again down to 12 there um militia mech needs an eight because of the gyro damage or needs a nine all inclusive gets a seven falls takes five to the center torso and the rear left leg for two needs a nine to avoid damage and a five to stay conscious uh stalker 45 the elite one needs a four gets a ten and we stayed here so that we could kick you on a minus four, kick him in the head and kill him. Uh, well, yeah, the ejection killed him, technically, not us. Uh, all right, Archer is, Archer didn't fire anything, it only walked, so yeah. Uh, awesome is at one heat, as predicted. Atlas is still at four heat, as predicted. And the Mark II Archer, Pulls off a couple points. Sweet. Uh, cargo mech is at zero. Militia mech is at two. Lumberjack is at zero. Is the stalker the only green enemy left? Is that for real? Uh, oh, we finally lost initiative. But at this point, I think... I think it can be safe to say that we're well on the way to winning. Uh, if I can get the Awesome and the Atlas to come up here and pinch or maneuver the Stalker, take him down. He's already into the yellow from all those PPCs he's been eating. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and try to... What the... What is this? I don't know why that one appeared suddenly, or why it has a yellow crosshairs. All right, Archer, you have, you know what? You've been backing up so that you could flee. 
But if you're at long range and standing in heavy woods with no immediate threats, yeah, I mean, you've got 20 heat sinks and two LRM20s. We might as well use them. And you're still near the edge, so we can always, you know, run away if we need to. Uh, Mark II Archer, which is a two heat, was it? This is important. Two heat, okay, yeah. We can go ahead and walk. That'll put us at three heat. And it gives us medium range on him, if nothing else. Um... Oh, that gives us medium range on the Stalker as well. I mean, we've got the armor to take any return fire. I like that move. Lumberjack over here, trying to be silly and run up on the Awesome, who is going to move into the Heavy Woods. Um, Atlas is just going to turn around and prepare for an advance in the next turn or two. Oh, the Stalker is advancing. Um, Thumper hits a building. No big deal. It's not destroyed yet. Uh, okay, so you've got... Let's see. This is Wyvern. It has a 4-4. Four, four. So that's 8 for long range, 9 for movement. So we can go 3, 6... 9, 10 for walking, uh, 22, yeah, um, and that should be, well, there's woods and stuff in the way, but that's 8s and 10s, 8s and 10s, yeah, we can, we can work with that, uh, let's see, we should have, like, 2 heat at this point, because we just walked, uh, so we can go... Do we want to go 38? Uh, no, I'm going to go 28 plus 9 is 37. And that should be... Yeah, no. We're not firing the small laser at extreme range, sorry. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. And that should leave us with one heat, because we only walked this turn. And at three heat, let's see, three, right? Uh, yeah, three, four, five for medium range. Three, four, five, six for walking. Uh, yeah, we will take a couple of sixes on you. All right, Mark Three Archer at the Dig Lord hits the left arm, leaving it with one armor, but misses with everything else. Uh, Militia Mech at the Atlas hits with two SRMs. The right arm is down to 13 armor. That's slightly worrisome. Uh, Hoser at the Lumberjack hits with both PPCs and the large laser. Uh, left arm, center torso, right leg, all of those getting really thin. Medium laser to the left torso, leaving it with eight. And CT going internal with the last one. Uh, Atlas on the militia mech, 10 to the left torso, crits the auto cannon. Medium laser to the center torso, medium laser to the left torso, blowing off the front left leg and critting the SRM4 ammo, destroying it completely. Uh, lumberjack at the Atlas needs an 11. Almost starts a fire, needs an 11, gets a 10. And the Mark II Archer hits the Stalker, the Elite Stalker, with 24 LRMs. To the left arm, right torso critical, right torso down to 6. The head for the second consciousness check, which was barely successful. Uh, left torso and left arm. Uh, Stalker, 45 at the Atlas. Would have hit the left torso critical, but we roll that with another point of edge, leaving us with one. That instead hits the right arm, leaving us with eight. Uh, medium lasers also to the center torso and left arm, down to 12 there. Medium laser to the right arm, down to three. SRM to the right arm, down to one. And another one going internal. Uh, right leg, left torso, right torso, staying strong there. 
Um, more damage to that right arm and left torso, down to 17, as well as 7 SRMs to the right and left leg for a total of over 40 damage. So we need a 5, we get a 9. Uh, Lumberjack needs a 6, gets an 11. Stalker needs a 4, gets a 6. So nobody goes down. No physical attacks. Everybody's heats 3 or below, except for the Stalker is at 5, which would make him a 2-3 movement profile this turn. We get a 14 on initiative, doing well. They're down to barely over 4,000 BV. So over the course of the last hour and a half or so, we've taken out about half of their forces uh, from where they started. I uh, was not expecting the Stalker to be moving forward at this point. And at this point, they have one, two, three, four blips. Okay, did not mean to. So they've got the Lumberjack, the Cargo Mech, the Stalker, and the Dig Ward. Uh, one could almost call it an even fight at this point. Um, we can just go ahead and start bombarding here for the time being. And just uh, be careful how quickly we advance on the Stalker. The Stalker, who moved one hex this turn, like as if he's trying to get hurt. So that's 15, 17, 18 hexes. So that is, well, let me, oof, that's a stretch. Ranges 18 hexes, one light woods. So that's long range for an LRM is out to 21. So that's eight. Um, nine for the woods. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stand still. We'll, uh, we'll shoot at you on nines. Uh, Archer Mark II. Um, Kinda wanna get you in place to melee this dig lord. Uh, let's see, you're already at three heat? Yeah, so running would put you at five. So we're not gonna be able to fire both LRMs this turn. Um, but we can do a laser and an LRM and get us back down to about two heat, should be. Uh, Atlas is actually at a really good range from this stalker um we're in woods he's not evasive yeah i don't see any reason to build up uh, any extra heat by moving and at three hexes this lumberjack is basically going to be toast uh long tom damages some terrain thumper doesn't even do that all right, uh, always starting with the big guns when it's, you know, relevant. Uh, let's see, you did not move. You started with one heat, so we can do, uh, we can do 28 plus 12. That's 40, 41, leaves us with three. Yeah, so there's 28 plus one, two, three, four is 12. Should be perfect. Uh, Atlas with the auto cannon 10. Oh, what do you need? You need fours and sixes, so that's probably all gonna hit. Um, on the other hand, we need twos. <laughs> that should be a two and probably fours. One, two, three, four, five. Skip on the rear, skip on the LRMs. That would be the SRM, but we don't really have the heat for that. All right, uh, yeah, we'll see how that does. And we can start laying in, what? Oh, you must be out of ammo. Well, um, okay, no more LRMs for you. Uh, so that's, Extreme range, so that's base 10. 11 for the Lightwoods. 
But I mean, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> Through the heavy smoke and the woods? What do you need? You need impossible. Why are you shooting LRMs at me if you need impossible? You fool. All right, uh, Mark II Archer apparently ran out of ammo at the exact same time as uh, the Mark III. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and fire a couple of lasers into your back because that's all we've got at this point and then we'll settle for a kick. Uh, do the impossible, see the invisible, <laughs> row, row, fight to power. Do the impossible, see the invisible. And was there a comma in there? Is that two separate? <laughs> or is that a single question? Like, do the impossible, see the invisible? I don't know. Um, Stalker hits the Atlas with both large lasers, center torso, right torso, armor holding still, hold, holding still. Um, so it's four SRMs to the right arm. Left arm would have been the head, cost us our last edge. Right leg and left arm. So that is 16 plus 8 is 24. The Atlas is going to have to make a check. Uh, awesome at the Lumberjack on threes and fours. Left leg, left leg, critting the hip and lower leg. Atlas D2. Um, no, the D2 is a, a variant of, that I uh, created. It replaces the autocannon 20 with an autocannon 10 and two medium lasers. Um, it's basically just meant as like a variant of the AS7D. Um, I thought the Atlas 2 was called something different. I couldn't tell you what it was offhand, but I didn't think it was AS7D2. I thought it was like AS8 something maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so the Lumberjack, getting crits to the hip, the lower leg, the lower arm, going internal on the CT, gyro crit, <laughs> replace all weapons with 20 medium lasers and like 60 heat sinks. <laughs> uh, so the Atlas D2 hits with the autocannon 10 to the leg, uh, medium lasers to the center torso and right arm, and the right arm <laughs> transfers to the right torso. Uh, but before, okay, so five damage to the right arm destroys it and transfers to the right torso, but then the critical hit on the right arm hits the single shot of LRM-10 ammo left in his arm for 10 damage, which deals two points to the pilot, makes the seven but not the 10, auto-ejects. That stalker is intact. It takes 10 damage to the right torso, which goes internal, That stalker is whole. It, it still has a center torso. That's... How often does that happen? How often do you see a mech survive an ammo explosion and still be salvageable? Uh, if that's like twice that I've seen it in like the last year. So that is, that is super impressive. He was down to his last shot, so he only takes 10 points of damage. Um... In case you're wondering, the first time was a quick draw. It was his uh, SRM 4 ammo, and he had three shots left. So he only took, uh, what was it, 24 points of damage? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is... Oh, we're going to have so much salvage on this. Uh, we're not... We do get salvage on this contract, right? I forget. Uh, uh, yeah, we get 50% salvage on this contract, so... Uh, between the stalkers and oh, this is this is lovely. <laughs> I'm used to ammo explosions just turning it back into a crater, right? Like a machine gun ammo bin is gonna explode for like at least 380 points of damage. Period. That's why I don't always. That's why I make it a point to not always reload machine gun ammo to the tippy top. I wish there was a way that you could set it to where uh, you only loaded it with like 25 shots or something like that but you can either reload it or not. And I choose not until it's down to like 20 shots or so. Because yeah, um, there's a chance that you could survive by doing it that way. 
Uh, Archer at the Dig Lord hits it in the center torso rear and the left arm, critting out his mining drill. Atlas needs a 4 to stay standing, gets an 8. Lumberjack needs a 13, <laughs> critically fails with a 2. Takes 5 to the right torso, 2 to the left leg, critting his foot. Needs a 13 to avoid damage and a 5 to remain conscious. Machine guns do so little for the risk you take by having machine gun ammo. I agree. I do. That's why um, the first thing I do pretty much with anything with machine gun stock is I replace the full ton of ammo with a half ton and an extra 8 points of armor at a minimum. Or a small laser or something like that. At least you can hit things from missiles. Uh, you mean with missiles? Um... Lumberjack does not shut down. Uh, Archer, yes, we're going to kick on a four. <laughs> yes, I'm bad at words. Um, I mean, everyone has things they're not good at. I don't feel bad about it or anything. Uh, kicked him in the left leg, seven structure remaining, crit on the hip and the foot. He falls down and blows his own arm off, takes two to the right torso. Fails to avoid damage, needs a 5 to stay conscious, gets a 7. Uh, awesome is at 3 heat, Atlas is at 1, and there's only 3, three mechs left, and 2 of them are in really bad shape. <laughs> so we're going to be wrapping this up here in the next little bit. Uh, I think we can dispense with the off-board artillery. Um, honestly, I feel like you can come out of hiding now, maybe fire some lasers. Um, Lumberjack, okay, let me make a note of that. Uh, that was definitely the awesome that took out the Lumberjack. Uh, what was that, number, uh, no, number 36 goes to the awesome. Uh, let's see, meantime, there is two. Okay, so that's the Dig Lord and the Cargo Mech are the only things left. So we might as well just start carting our little butts over there. Um, did you, you must have moved, right? Has not yet moved. Okay, we will wait then for you to do that. Um, Atlas, you're in Lightwoods right now, correct? Uh, I kind of want to do like that, and then maybe next turn we can advance or something. Okay, and... Oh, did we lose initiative? I guess we did. He'll just stand there and let him kill himself. All right, Lumberjack... Uh, crits the engine in gyro. Uh, wait, 36, yeah, the one that was being shot at by the awesome. Tries to get up, fails. Crits the engine in gyro in the fall. Two to the right torso. Does not avoid damage. Stays conscious. Uh, must make a piloting chill check, skill check to keep from stalling, succeeds, and then ejects. It's really weird to me. Usually they'll eject before they even try to move. I, I very rarely, if ever, see them eject after they've spent movement points. But I guess it does happen. Uh, the Dig Lord tries to get up and succeeds, but then falls because he ran with a dam damaged gyro. Uh, bring Awesome and Archer, face Mining Mech, yeah. Um, next flop around on the ground is more dangerous than hitting them with guns, especially the ones with the internal combustion engine. Every time they fail a PSR, there's a chance they're just going to shut down. <laughs> uh, takes five to the left torso rear, goes internal, critting his fluid gun ammo, <laughs> which apparently is not explosive. Uh, needs a seven to avoid damage and a seven to stay conscious, which he barely gets. Um, Long Tom... Oh, I was not paying attention to that. Atlas takes 15 to the right torso and left arm. Down to three and four armor there. 
I didn't realize there were mechs using IC. Yeah, there are. They are primitives and they make extra skill checks. I think um, anytime basically that they fail a PSR, they have to make a second PSR to keep from stalling the engine. And anytime they fall down, they have to make a PSR to avoid taking extra crits. Uh, it, I, that's how I understand the rules work for that. Uh, and the, thire, the thumper hits the awesome. So this was the turn for friendly fire. Uh, I'm glad I laid off the artillery starting this turn. All right. So mark three archer, and that is going into the back arc of the dig lord, it looks like, with all four medium lasers. That's pretty awesome. I've always thought about starting a Battletech campaign with farmers in the middle of nowhere with nothing but maybe an ancestral flea. That could be really cool. Um, I mean, uh, historically, the Great Death Legion started with just a locust. Uh, so, I mean, there is, I feel like there is a market for, uh, you know, the, the lower tech, more rough and tumble kind of uh, game. Uh, first of all, what do we need for these? Eights. And that's going to be probably a 10 for the medium or the large and nothing else. And that's going to be we walked plus the heavy woods plus so that's sevens. Two, three, four. And the SRMs build up a little heat. Uh, and the archer, yeah, we're gonna be kicking. We can we can use the arm lasers. All right, archer at the dig lord in the back nines nothing. Uh, awesome on the cargo mech eights uh, hits the front right leg, blows it off completely. Uh, so that's gonna be a guaranteed fall. Uh, and then an auto cannon ten to the rear left leg crits the foot, uh, medium laser to the right rear leg, right torso, right torso, right torso, and then the mark two archer at the dig lord critting the upper and lower leg with a medium laser and leaving the left torso with four armor. Uh, cargo mech, leg destroyed, goes down automatically, takes five to the left torso, two to the center torso. Uh, if internal combustion engine mix are on the table, that might bridge the gap. Uh, yeah, uh, they <laughs> they make great target practice. Once you shoot them, they just go down and flop around on the ground and die, like you said. Um, I mean, you can see like this. Uh, where was it? This uh, foot crit that I got. That wasn't a through armor crit. That wasn't a regular crit. That was just a primitive mech crit. <laughs> so. They're super vulnerable to all kinds of uh, basically normal combat uh, things. Or, or they just don't deal well with combat. Uh, and it's because they're not designed for it. Um, so the cargo mech needs a 14 to avoid damage. That's his first pilot or his first uh, consciousness check. <laughs> You've gone a very long time without getting hurt. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be kicking you on a zero to the left leg, destroying it, going into the left torso, and critting out your fluid gun ammo. I didn't even see him shoot the, uh, the fluid gun at any point. Yeah, cargo mech, fell down, has to take an extra crit just for falling. It crits on his cargo, I guess. Uh, Diglord needs to avoid critical damage due to falling a level. Critical hit on the left leg rolls, and that's what with a plus three modifier. Even if I had rolled a nine, plus three would have been 12 blown off. So that Dig Lord really just, it's a civilian mech. It, it was not designed for this kind of abuse. Uh, we have one initiative, they're down to 1307. And that should be 1307. So that's, uh, that's not gonna show me right now. Because of course not, because artillery. All right, 1307, that's 233 there. So that should be just over a thousand here. 270. There are more. Where are they? All right. Um, 
immobile, KO'd. All right, yeah, we're gonna run up and kick you. Oh, and that's right, because he's got a busted foot. Um, awesome, seems to be running hot again. That's my bad, because I wasn't paying attention to his heat. Five feet is fine though, we'll be at six after we move. Uh, so we're gonna have to lay off something. Um, you are not moved yet. You can barely move at all with your movement profile as it is now. Uh, you can just stand there and destroy the Diglord. Diglord falls, takes five to the left torso, destroyed, two to the center torso, and then two to the left torso, which transfers to the center torso, leaving him with zero. Needs a 10 to avoid damage. Needs a 10 to stay conscious. Yep. Um... We're just gonna shoot you. Four medium lasers from you. Two medium lasers from you. What mech would make a good final boss for an ICE lance to face? The deadly bandit Vulcan? I mean, that very easily, depending on the scale that you're playing with, a Vulcan could definitely be a threat. It has a flamer, it has a machine gun. The autocannon 2 has like insane range, and if you're getting like free crits every time you hit, uh, even 2 damage at a range of 30 hexes is scary. Um, the machine gun and the flamer make it really good against infantry, and it has a medium laser for like anything with you know more than 5 armor. <laughs> Uh, it's highly mobile, it's got the low profile quirk, depending on how you're playing with that, it could be a very tough uh, opponent. Alright, so we're going to go 10, 20, 30, plus the 6 that we were at. 41. And I don't know if that's going to hit, but we'll be alright. That is the most generous description of the Vulcan I've ever heard. I know! Uh, it's insane to me, um, because I'm not a fan of it. It has a maximum damage output of, what, 11? Which, under normal circumstances, is pitiful. But against infantry and light tanks and, like, hover vehicles and internal combustion engine mechs, yeah, it, it could... It's a combat machine in a non-combat kind of environment. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's gonna stand out. A flea would do the same thing. A locust could potentially... Um, I mean, even a stinger is effective in the right circumstances. It's just a matter of, you know, finding... <laughs> being the bigger fish in that situation. Two, three, four... Yeah, we'll go the full 18. All right, Archer at the Dig Lord to the right torso, left torso into the center torso, uh, left torso or left leg to the center torso to the gyro, the engine, almost blowing it up entirely, uh, medium laser to the center torso, uh, <laughs> um, and the ones that do use fusion engines <laughs> have this kind of problem, uh, cascading engine failure. Uh, there is, <clears throat> excuse me, there is actually an optional rule where uh, this uh, catastrophic result, uh, I didn't realize it got low profile, I was under the impression it stands for, um, the, the, the name of the quirk is actually narrow slash low profile, uh, I usually just say low profile because uh, I'm referring to like the Marauder and the Urban Mech have it, but yeah, the Vulcan also has the narrow profile perk. It's the same thing, basically. Um, and depending on how you're playing it, the old rules, I think, just made it uh, a penalty of one to hit it, so a plus one modifier to hit it. Uh, the newer rules don't change your target number, but if you meet or only exceed it by one, then you do half damage. So like, if you need a seven and you roll an eight, your medium laser, and it rounds down, so a medium laser does two damage on a seven or eight. It only does five damage on a nine or better. Um, so that perk is, can be, uh, really effective, uh, especially on mechs with less armor like the Vulcan. 
Um, let's see, Archer at the Diglord to the right torso and the right leg. Uh, awesome at the Cargo Mech to the right torso, critting out its cargo. Uh, right rear leg, critting the hip, set her torso. Uh, medium laser misses. Atlas on the Cargo Mech to the setter torso, critting the engine. Uh, checking for explosion, needs a 10, rolls a 3. Crit the gyro. Five more to the center torso. Five to the left torso. Five to the right torso on the cargo. Five to the rear right leg. Five to the front left leg. Uh, three piloting skill rolls. Hip, gyro, and 60 plus damage. Um, the base target... Oh, here's another quirk that I guess some industrial mechs have, is that they have industrial triple strength mime, or affects their piloting... I didn't know that. I knew that um, industrial TSM is different from regular TSM. I'm not real sure of all the differences. Props to these agromechs standing and fighting when an Atlas is on the field. Yeah. Um, I had mentioned at the beginning of the stream that I wasn't sure how to deal with, like, because when you load a mission, um, it doesn't repopulate the bot that you were fighting before so i kind of configured the bot to be more uh cowardly <laughs> but it doesn't seem to have taken um it, which normally when i do that i max out those sliders um i didn't do that in this case and maybe i should have maybe they'd be running away instead of trying to charge and charge me with like literally no guns uh, so the cargo mech goes down, uh, five damage transfers to the right torso, destroying it. Uh, two damage to the front right leg, transfers to the center torso. Uh, doesn't get a crit though. Pilot needs a 15 to avoid damage and a five to stay conscious. And he fell on his back, so now he is facing away from us. So we kick him in the back to the right rear leg, destroyed. Three transfers to the right rear leg or right rear torso, uh, which transfers to the center torso rear. So he effectively back tanked that one a little bit. Um, critted on his engine. Uh, <laughs> engine safety systems are in place on a six, needs a seven. Um, so there's 941 BV remaining on their side. And he is not worth 941 BV. So where are the rest of them? Oh, cargo mech is immobile. Do I have to go find them now? Um, I kind of want to finish this battle legitimately. I don't want to just declare victory when there's still got guys on the field, but I'm not going to spend too much time looking for them because it is already 8 o'clock. But if I can find them in the next like, couple of turns. Cargo mech fails to eject, needs a 13, rolls a 3, takes 5 damage, kills the pilot. Well, that's sad. Uh, yeah, you can tell there's no enemies when the next target button is grayed out. I don't mean like no enemies, I mean like none in like within your team's site uh we're not doing that anymore gonna go ahead back you up go ahead move forward at a walking pace in case anything jumps out from behind a building at us uh we can run to get into heavy woods no sweat there go ahead and have you run too just because you're far behind Still no targets. Yeah, there's 787 BV left of them. All right, now for really real, <laughs> Wyvern is gonna flee the field before he takes any major damage to his mech. <clears throat> Uh, Atlas can start making his way this way. Archer, I guess, can kind of come up through here and try to, I don't know, find something they missed. 
Wait, we've got a target. Eisenfaust. You do not have LOS. You do not have LOS. You are not in range and you're out of ammo with your long range missiles. All right, Eisenfaust apparently ran this turn. He built up two heat. We have lost the initiative, which means we must move first. Um, we'll go ahead, hit a couple of rounds there, but I'm expecting this to be over before too long. Uh, where can he go to see him? Not there, apparently. Maybe uh, if we continue on this path, we should be able to spot him eventually. The alternative is coming up this way, and I don't think that's the right move. Uh, this is a height one building, right? Right? Those usually are. All right. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get within five hexes of you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll run to get you into long range. The modifier's better. Oh, wrong one. Uh, still has no LS. That's gonna be uh, partial cover, but short range. We ran, right? We did run. Yeah. You didn't get a modifier. Trying to convince them to run? <laughs> Again, maybe they are baiting you with Garbo Max and hoping those long toms take you down. Those are my long toms, thank you very much, and they've only done 20 points of damage worth of friendly fire. They've done more than that to the bad guys. How dare you, sir. Poor. Uh... We'll throw in the LRMs, just for kicks. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, that's what I mean. Needing sixes and eights. New mission or same one? Same mission. Uh, there is this one dude just hanging out up here, not enjoying entering the fray. But yeah, there's, uh, as you can see, quite a lot of wreckage and destruction and decimation down here. Uh, I'm just about to finish this up. <laughs> so we scored a direct hit on your Mac. Uh, yeah. Well, it wasn't a direct hit. The Atlas got hit worse, um, but the Awesome did get a little singed. <laughs> uh, so that's tens, we'll do that. Uh, Atlas hits it in the left arm for 15. Uh, building takes five, right torso for five. Missing on tens, missing on sixes and eights. Does not fall down. No physical attacks. Alright, we've won initiative, so he must go first, and he has elected to do <laughs> to stand still. Alright, no. Uh, he hasn't moved yet, we're still doing indirect fire. Alright, so he has. Yeah, no, he straight up didn't move. Um, let's go ahead and walk there, get everything within nice and short range. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Medium range works for me. And, oh, did not consider that. I kind of wanted you to be at six hexes tail. Uh, but we'll take seven. Uh, Long Tom hits buildings for 15, 15, and five. Thumper hits buildings for five and five. But it's only war crimes if the building comes down. So say I thought. Um, so that's gonna be one, two, three, and four. And that's gonna be on really easy sixes and eights, yeah. Uh, with partial cover, yeah, with partial cover. Uh, Atlas on probably like fours or fives. How much heat did you start this turn with? Not that much. We'll cool you down a little bit this turn. And we can bring in a couple more medium lasers there. 
And his war crimes have made him my awesome. Uh, Eisenfaust hits the Atlas with an auto cannon 10 to the center torso, two medium lasers to the right arm, critting the lower arm actuator and a heat sink. Uh, and that arm is going to be a pain in the butt to fix. Uh, awesome at the Eisenfaust hits the left torso and the left arm, destroying lots of stuff. Two heat sinks, a large laser in the hand. And a PPC to the left torso, transferring to the center torso. Large laser to the right torso, critting out its auto cannon. Atlas on the auto Eisenfaust, 10 to the center torso, 5 more to the center torso, 80 to the center torso. Destroyed by ejection, lots of things being blown apart, uh, and the Atlas stays standing. And that should... Team 1 has achieved all required victory conditions. Yes, we would like to save that. We'll call this done. We do, in fact, because we destroyed literally everything. Um, we did lose two tanks last week, I remember now. I'd forgotten about that. Um, Archer, mostly armor damage, critted out a foot on the right leg. Shouldn't be too hard to fix. Uh, Hoser's Ride, uh, mostly, mostly doing fine, just a little bit of armor damage. Uh, the Atlas went deep into that right arm, almost destroyed it completely, but we should be able to fix it. It's going to be a hefty multiplier, or a modifier. Uh, because that's based on the percentage of the structure that's left. Uh, where 100% of enemies required for victory, most aren't that thorough. Um, yeah, it was the convoy attack, so our objective was to destroy all of the convoy vehicles, if I'm not mistaken. I'll double check, maybe I did, maybe that was overkill, and I didn't have to do that. Um, other archer just took some minor armor damage, really. Uh, of course, the artillery didn't take anything. All right. Wyvern took that one point of damage. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Savannah Master Pilot got killed, sadly. He was, or she, was a super green, though. So, I mean, could have been worse. Uh, salvage. So we can get the Xanthos, we can get a Stalker, um, do we want the Griffin or the Wolverine? Uh, the Wolverine is missing a head, almost missing its left leg, almost missing its right torso. Needs, needs some work, mainly the head. Um, Griffin is missing a head, a torso, and an arm. And forgive me saying so, but I'm not a huge fan of Griffins. They just. Yes, technically it can do 20 damage in one turn, but it does it with a PPC and an LRM 10. <laughs> Griffin is toast, yeah. Yeah, I was pretty wasted. Um, we could take the Wolverine, it would put us over on our percentage by a not insignificant amount. Um, but I think our mech techs are going to have enough to handle fixing our own damage and rebuilding these guys. We'll go ahead and salvage the tank so that our mechanics can get some work done. All right. Griffin was KIA, J27 was KIA, Cargo Mech was KIA, Wolverine was KIA. No captures. Oh, okay. So. <clears throat> uh, okay. I might have to find my notes from last week if there were any. Uh, Stalker 42. Yeah, I don't have that one listed here. Uh, 26. I don't have that one listed. 33. No. Um, 30, no, 
32, no, wait, 33. I do have 33 listed. 33 was the Atlas. Uh, 36 was the Awesome. And 39 was the Archer is what I have written here. Uh, no, 39 was the Long Tom. Uh, save it for something better. Wolverines aren't great either. Yeah, I agree. Um, marginally better than the Shadowhawk. Um, I mean, the Shadowhawk can do 19 points of damage if everything hits and it rolls perfectly on two different cluster rolls. Um, but yeah, honestly, I mean, I love the 55 ton trio, the, the Griffin, the Wolverine, and the Shadowhawk. But at 3025 tech levels, they just underperform. You can always change up weapons. Yeah. Um, I've got a variant of the Wolverine that trades the SRM-6 to upgrade the autocannon to a 10 that I'm fond of, that I'm playing in my other game. Uh, so yeah, that's... All right, give me just a second. Let me see if I can... Uh, this notepad is so turned around, I'm probably going the wrong way anyways. Uh, can you talk now? Longbow, no, these are all... Okay, so I have <laughs> absolutely no idea who killed what at this point. Um, Harvester, the third stalker, Xanthos. There was, there were, weren't there two Xanthoses? I guess not. Um, who was it brought down the Xanthos? Cargomac, that was the awesome, or the, um, the Atlas, wasn't it? They were the ones off to the left side in the little woods. That was the Atlas and the cargo mech, right? Uh, Eyes on the Palace, the Militia Mech. Am I getting it confused with the Militia Mech? Did it kill both of them? Uh, Stalker, Griffin, Stalker, Diglord was the Archer. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure the Awesome got the cargo mech. They were standing off over on the left side, like in this part of the screen, I guess. Um, I don't remember who killed the Xanthos. I don't remember who killed the Harvester or the Third Stalker. But uh, just looking at what we've got here, we've got uh, Lieutenant Frederick French and Archer Mark III. Xanthos took a lot of fire from different people, but I think one of the archers finished it. Uh, well, I think technically if the archer had finished it, it would be automatically uh, distributed. Uh, I think it ejected, so I... Um, I mean, I can check the footage and like really dive deep, but for now I don't think, I, I don't feel like I can assign the kill to anyone definitively. I'm not trying to have to take away someone's kill again like I did last week. Uh, so French got one. We got the J27, the Brunel, the Diglord, so that's one pilot kill. Um, okay, so one pilot and two vehicles for Frederick French, so that's three XP, uh, plus one for deploying. Uh, Petra and the Mark Two got the Wolverine. Uh, let's see, the awesome Fred Jones in the uh, Hoser's Ride got the Crosscut, so that's one. The Griffin, so that's two. And the Lumberjack, so that's three. Not quite a Bronze Star. Uh, and then the Long Tom got the one, of course. Captain Belfry got the Power Man, the Stalker, the Militia Mech, the Eisenfost, the Cargo Mech. Uh, okay, I was not trying to give my NPC captain all of the kills, but that does seem to be the way it worked out. 
Uh, so that is going to be a bronze star for him. Force withdrawal 100%, check. Preserve 50%, check. Even if we don't include the th artillery, we're still four out of eight. So technically, yes, no matter how you slice it. Uh, so yeah, uh, salvaging Xanthos and the Stalker. I'm gonna have that, <laughs> and okay, green vehicle driver, that's generous, she was ultra green. Um, we will pay out the 10,000 sea bills in funeral costs, no big deal, let me just double check, make sure that did actually happen, yes, final payout, 10,000 sea bills, no sweat. Um, Alright, looking at this... Uh, Savannah has been recovered. It's salvaged. We got 323 sea bills. Um, I mean, to be fair, it didn't take a lot of damage, but I feel like it took more than 323 sea bills worth of damage. Um, Scorpion salvaged. Uh, the Archer, 77,000. Uh... Awesome, 11,000, Atlas, 69,000, Archer, Mark II, 51,000. And a lot of that is going to be just ammo, because <laughs> uh, they did both run dry. Um, but the Mark II in particular didn't take that much damage at all. Um, 13,000 in ammo bills for the Long Tom, and 1,500 for the Thumper. J27, Xanthos and Stalker have been added to the unit roster. Let's make sure everybody that needs to be seen to medically is being seen to. Um, let's go ahead and put everything in... Oh wait, that's right, we've only got four transport bays. This is going to be interesting. Um, the Atlas needs to be in one of the transport bays for that right arm. That is just all kinds of messed up. Uh, awesome is just armor damage. Mark three has an actuator and internal damage. So we'll go ahead and do that one as well. That leaves the Mark two archer, just armor damage. And the awesome, just armor damage in the field. Uh, the Hermes, I think we can go ahead and mothball that. Um, maybe starting tomorrow with our green tech we can start mothballing that um, just so we're not doing maintenance costs on that there was another thing <laughs> uh, was grabbing a drink what did I miss um, yeah mostly just going over the after action report uh, assigning kills um, uh, I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch and, and see who got certain kills and make decisions I guess before uh, we start next week. Uh, speaking of the hangar, though, and uh, particularly this, it was this Hermes that reminded me, because I remember last week I was looking at the the hangar, and I was like, well, I've got this quandary where the Hermes doesn't really fit in the lance, you know, at a decent weight. We're sitting at 320 tons, which is... Uh, 40 tons outside of being a heavy lance, but 70 tons from being the maxed out assault lance. And I was, you know, hemming and hawing about how to arrange the lance, and it completely slipped me that, like, immediately in between those two things, we had gone to the unit market, and there's a Wolverine 6R for sale in the unit market. Now, it's not my favorite 55 tonner. Hermes, to hope you don't like torso twists. Yeah, that's... Um, <laughs> nice Mackie. Uh, the Mackie was, uh, if I recall, it was a gift. Um, and it happened actually before I realized it had happened. I bought the Atlas and then I saw that I'd been gifted a Mackie. So I just ended up with 200 tonners. Uh, yeah, the Wolverine, not my favorite Mac either. But, uh, if we replace, say, the Atlas with the Wolverine, uh, we would be losing out on a significant amount of firepower, but we would drop, you know, 
45 tons off of our tonnage, that would put us at 275, which makes us a heavy lance instead of an assault lance. And hopefully that would um, keep us from having more missions like this where, you know, we're looking at 11,000 BV worth of, of combined forces, or 16,000 in this case, including, you know, all of the convoy enemies that we... Uh, so I was seriously considering reorganizing my lance using that Wolverine. Uh, the only thing is it does cost, I think, about 5 million sea bills, and we're only sitting at about 12 and a half. So now that we have um, a Stalker and a Xanthos, well, the Xanthos is probably going to get um, mothballed for a while uh, until we can afford to upgrade it to standard tech. Um, and I do actually have... There is the XNT-30, which, uh, yeah, upgrades the large laser to a PPC, the SRM-4 to an SRM-6, the autocannon 10 to an autocannon 20, and one of the small lasers to a medium laser. Um, and it comes with, you know, standard armor, standard cockpit, smaller but more efficient engine. Um, okay, yeah, it's... It's not a 3.5 here because it's got the leg damage. Normally it would be a 3.5. So we're not actually going any faster with this upgrade, but we are using a smaller engine because we're not using the primitive rules anymore. And uh, 360 is a really heavy engine, <laughs> um, considering that it goes up exponentially and it maxes out at 400. Uh, don't tell the employer we have an atlas. We don't want to get thrown at enemies that need an atlas to break. That's exactly what just happened, is I had an atlas in the lance, and so they threw atlas enemies at us. So um, I was really debating, and I think even with the stalker, and the stalker's not in bad shape. It just needs an arm and some actuators and a cockpit, and armor, obviously. Um, but our next mission is in two days or three days and it's another big battle it's uh our lance plus uh wow you know, a super elite pilot and a javelin uh along with two lances of tanks with an atlas and a champion okay a tank lance and a mixed lance and some low BV civilian mechs and a handful of turrets versus 17,000 BV worth of, of uh, enemy lances, including another elite and a stalker. Uh, so I think for right now, we are kind of committed to being in an assault lance, although we could technically throw in another 70 tonner run five mechs and still be an assault lance. Um, so that might be what I end up doing actually is adding a 70 tonner to the lance or, you know, lacking a 70 tonner than maybe a 55 tonner from the marketplace. Uh, we'll have to, I'll tell you what, I will make a note that uh, we'll have to pick up that discussion next week because in the meantime, we are definitely running long um, I think, yeah, that's just about all we can really do for right now. Uh, I'm just glad to have finally gotten that mission over with. Um, so I guess next week we'll start off by doing repairs for three days and purchasing a, a Wolverine so that we can run an a 300 and what that would be 375 we, we should be able to do that so um in the meantime let's uh go ahead well we're not technically mid convoy attack anymore but we are uh it's alphabetical so i want something that starts with after an m <laughs> um All right, so that's going to be my new save file uh, on the same day, but alphabetically later. Um, 
So yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave off for the day. And we will pick back up next week. I uh, appreciate everyone who joined me. appreciate everyone who uh, watches on YouTube and everywhere else. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and comment. And be a uh, part of the community. Uh, there's a Discord. And y'all have a good week. And we'll see you next time.